guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video I haven't done in a while, and that is just like a sit down, get ready with me video, and let's chat about stuff. Today's topic is going to be about my Asian fetish. So let's just get into this video, let's start doing my makeup, and let's start chatting about my Asian fetish. I've already done my foundation, I'm just going to be doing like my go-to wintery fall look, and yeah, so let's get started. So, my Asian fetish. How did that begin? Could you even call it an Asian fetish? I'm not quite sure. Um, the first time that I was confronted about my Asian fetish is when I was on Tinder in Los Angeles and I had matched with a few Asian men and I never ever once in my life considered it an Asian fetish. I've just always been attracted physically to Asian men. Um, before my married guy, Jim, I had never dated an Asian guy, but I was attracted to them always, just never had dated one. Um, after everything went down with Jim, and if you're a girl, you know what I mean. Sometimes when you break up with a guy, you'll subconsciously date people that look and act just like him, which is kind of weird. So I matched with a bunch of Asian guys on Tinder and one in particular, um, how we'll call him, shoot, I'm running out of names. I've used Jim, Joe, Bob, Bill. I mean, what's that? What? Eustace. <laughs> Why do I keep picking old man names? Alan. Alan, his name's Alan. No, because that makes me think of Alan Rickman. Okay, uh, Tyler. <laughs> um, Tyler is a lawyer in Los Angeles, and he was Korean. And Tyler and I went out a bunch of times, and one thing that he asked me on our first date was, so what's up with your Asian fetish? And that statement just really caught me off guard, like, what's up with your white fetish? Uh, I really didn't know how to really answer that, but I told him, I was, I was like, I'll be honest, like, my last boyfriend was half Filipino, half Chinese, and I just, I don't know, maybe I'm a horrible person by trying to rebound with another Asian man that might slightly look like him. He ended up being a really cool guy and we're still friends, we still talk. He, I think he still watches like my YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure he'll click on this one by the title. <laughs> so hey, what's up, Tyler? <laughs> um, if you see this, you should totally text me and say that you saw this because that'll be hilarious. Um, but he's a really sweet guy and I had been on dates with several other Asian guys after that, um, around that time. I've been on dates with, uh, you know, Korean guys, Chinese guys. Every single time that I would go out on a date with an Asian man, I would notice the same question. Like, do you usually go for Asian guys? What is up with your Asian fetish? That is just like a reoccurring thing that happened. And I didn't like that question because I didn't want it to seem like I was only going out with them because they were Asian. Um, but of course, after dating quite a few Asian men, and like not dating as in being serious with them or anything, but like going on a few dates with them, I did notice that there were some subtly slight differences when dating an Asian man as opposed to dating someone who is Western. And I think the main difference that I noticed, and this is a complete generalization, uh, you know, this is just generally what I have found to be true, and there have been exceptions, trust me, I have met some creepers, um, but like Asian men tend to be a little bit more reserved and a tad bit more respectful of women, not saying that white men aren't, but just more so in general. And that is something that I really liked and that I gravitated towards because I sometimes feel like I would go out on dates with guys and they would just be so quick to jump the gun, try to get it in, very physically aggressive, whereas the Asian men that I went out with were just a little bit more laid back 
and wanted to talk maybe and get to know you more but like I said that's a complete generalization and I get in trouble whenever I say things like this because then I always offend people but I'm just stating my opinions so you know the real question is, is like do I have an Asian fetish and I don't think so I think that I am just a person that is open to dating people of all races because I truly feel like love is blind I have dated people of all shapes sizes so it just really depends. I, I'm more of a person where I am attracted to somebody uh, based on their personality and I, don't, I just like I fall in love with people's souls I don't really fall in love with people's outer exteriors maybe I was like that when I was younger I haven't been on a date with an Asian guy in quite some time actually just because I've gotten off of the whole tinder website I deleted my account over a week ago and that is something that I am really proud of because as you guys know I've been on some really terrible dates lately and I've had some very uh, bad misfortunes with men as of recently if you follow me on Twitter you'll always hear me venting about everything and I don't say everything online like there's other stuff that's going on I went on a really 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 terrible tinder date like about three weeks ago and I never made a video about it because the whole situation just freaked me out so badly this guy literally lied about his age and he lied about like he didn't look anything like his photo and it was like probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my life um but I'm just I'm getting off track now but if you guys would like a video about that experience let me know I just need to like get it through my mind like what actually happened because it was quite traumatizing but anyways back to you know dating Asian men another thing I noticed with Asian guys is that they're a little bit more chivalrous they'll open doors for you I feel like chivalry in society is kind of dead and that makes me really sad because I don't think it's anti-feminist to open doors for women and to be courteous and to be a gentleman. I think that it's just it's just a nice way for men to act and to show respect to women. I don't expect every man to do it. It's just something that I have noticed many Asian men do and I appreciate it. Another thing that I noticed um, with the Asian men that I dated, not Asian men, you know, in general, just the ones I've dated, um, is that they're not as cocky and perhaps not as confident. One thing that really bothered me when dating Jin is that he used to focus so, so much about the fact that I was white and he was Asian. And it was to the point where it, he would make jokes about it. And I think he did it as a coping mechanism because he was very insecure. But I think that at one point it became like extremely annoying and it made me question like why he was even with me. And he would say certain things that I felt like if I would say those things to him, they would be considered racist. I didn't feel like he was attacking me. I didn't feel like he was being racist towards me, but it was just kind of like, huh. Okay. I remember one time I was out with Jim on a date and we were standing outside of a restaurant and I started just like dancing to the music and he looked at me and he said, "Ugh, you're such a white girl. That is so white of you. Or sometimes when I would do weird and odd things, he'd be like, wow, you're such a white person. And <laughs> I was like, caught off guard. I don't know. I never, I never experienced that in a relationship. And then there were other times where he would say to me, oh, I can't believe I'm with a white girl. And that was just kind of weird to me because not once did I ever say to him, wow, I never thought I'd be with an Asian guy. Um, just because that's not how my mind works. I don't think that way. Um, I think I was more likely to say something like, wow, I never thought I'd end up with someone who was as nice as you and then turned out to be a total dickhead who was married with two children. <laughs> Clearly not over it yet. Sorry guys, I'm working on it. So yeah, that was kind of my experience with dating Asian men. Do I have an Asian fetish? I don't think so but some Asian men that I have dated would beg to differ. Wow, this look is intense. 
So that's going to be it for the talking part. I'm going to put on these false lashes, do my mascara, do my hair, and then I will show you guys my finished look for today. So for hair, I just popped in my extensions and straightened them with my Irresistible Me Flattening Iron. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link for this in the description box below. And I just did a cute little side braid because my bangs were being annoying. And here is the outfit. I am wearing a guest vest with some faux leather pants and some boots. Thanks guys for watching this Get Ready With Me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.